I am uh, Randy with Eliminator LLC, and I am the founder and inventor of the Russo Eliminator, which is the first self-service fire extinguisher. And what we mean by first is this a demonstration unit to basically show you how you can maintain the extinguisher and keep it in a fluid state. And if you see that, you as the end user know that the chemical is in a ready state. No need for any type of license, tools, or third-party service. Simply do the maintenance by inverting the unit, turning it three times, and back over. So this is give you a clear demonstration of the unit. In my background, I've been in the service industry for a little over 30 years, and we saw a lot of issues with traditional fire extinguishers when it came through with the maintenance and the follow-up. So what we did is we just wrote down several of the issues that we found, and we wanted to come up with a solution that would directly address your traditional stored pressure fire extinguishers. And so on a unit like this, when you would fire it off, the hose clearly comes out straight out. It's not right or left-handed, it's ambidextrous. And to operate the unit, it's never under pressure until you need to use the extinguisher for a fire. Most of the wear and tear on your traditional stored pressure extinguishers is the service companies maintaining them to keep that chemical in a fluid state. So the idea here is you only need to pressurize the unit in the event of a fire. So what the Russo Eliminator does is it upgrades your fire protection at the same time while it being cost effective. So when you fire off the unit, you would simply turn this wheel here, you pull this down and it charges this CO2, and then you would release the chemical out like this. A lot of times with fires, the first thing that goes out in the building would be the power. And a lot of times, for example, that uh, ghost fire that was in Oakland, they actually installed the fire extinguishers there and they couldn't find them because the power was out. So there was a lot of panic and things like that. This charges with light and it catches the light. So when the power goes out, this, what we call here, the retaining hose ring, it will be charging and glowing, which is what we relate to as the halo. So once you'd fire off the unit, you just remove the head, you'd remove the head, get a new CO2, one time use CO2, and then a reload kit. You just remove this head, and this comes with the CO2 in place here. The tamper seal and everything is in place here. And when you reset it, you simply put that right in place. The tamper seal is in place. And then for the bracket, when it's hanging on the wall, this clips in like this. And it will be mounted on the wall and you simply just lift it up, twist the wheel, and then turn the unit back down. And you've done what's equivalent to a six-year teardown. Without even having to go outside, you can do it in right there at your office or warehouse or wherever you need to do the maintenance.